Hey guys, what is up? Eritrea Gamer, and today we are doing some more Grand Theft Auto. Uh, gonna be doing LCPFR in a second, but this is just gonna be like a quick little tutorial on how to play the mod, how to how to get it all started, and everything once you have it installed. So here we go. Uh, let's go ahead. Let me turn off my trainer real quick, just so I don't get anything mixed up. So you just kind of just kind of walk outside uh, to activate the mod at one once it's installed correctly. That is. You're going to hold down ALT and hit P. ALT, P. Sorry, I missed the key. Um, okay, so it says, Welcome to PFR. Enter the nearest police station to go on duty. Now, as you can see on your map, you have some little badge icons. And that is the police stations. If you're starting at this safe house, which is the original safe house, you're basically right at it. You're right down the street from it. So, you're just going to drive right down the road here, and it's on this corner. You can see there is a police car and a little chevron there, a uh, waypoint chevron thing. Okay, so you get out of your car, you're going to walk into it. This is going to take you into the police headquarters, which is going to get you started. And as you can see, we are now in the police station. So you just want to walk straight down the hall. This is the same as all of the LCPDFR versions. Um, they haven't really changed anything with the department. So you walk in this last door in the hall. And into that chevron and this is going to be your officer slash clothes selector uh, you can kind of use the arrows to go through and see the all you know see all the different uh, characters you can use down on the d-pad anytime to change the appearance and once you choose one you're just gonna hit return which is the enter button so I'm just gonna do that most of the time like let me just show you on uh, this one right here uh, you can change the head you can change the color of the skin you can change pretty much everything. You can also change the hat. Some you can change the uniform, uh, whether or not they're wearing a jacket, stuff like that. For some reason, this is this is a modded one actually, as you can tell. This isn't the actual regular LCPD, uh, LCPD uniform, but it's my current one that I'm using. So, okay, so I've got that one selected. Next thing is we're going to get a partner. This is completely optional, completely up to you. So. I usually I usually use a partner when I'm making a video so why not right okay and you like I said you you walk up in that uh, in that Chevron it says press E to make him or her your partner so you hit E and it'll walk you through and you can customize just like you did when you were choosing your own character you of course you hit enter to confirm it so as we just did there we walked out the back door the one that we can't that it put us through Ignore the red sky there. I don't know why it's doing that. But now this is our car selector. These are all modded cars. If you haven't modded your car uh, car selection yet, then this is not going to be the same. But you're just going through. It's loading all the cars for the first time, so it might be a little bit laggy like it is for me right now. Okay, so here's all my cars that I have right now. So after you select your car, you just want to hit enter. Okay. You're going to give a second here. Your partner should come right around the corner and join you if you did choose a partner. There he comes. Okay, I'm also running ELS, which is the lighting system for these cars. That's what that is. Uh, so if you want to customize it, it all depends on whatever your controls are that you have set up for the car. But you can, of course, change it to your liking. I like that. So right up there we have a call out that is dispatch giving us a call uh, that somebody called in using 911. So hit Y to confirm it or N to say that you're busy. Uh, it, yeah. So now we have a waypoint and we are just responding. This is homeless people uh, disturbing the peace. Okay. Alright, looks like we are arriving on scene. I'm assuming, you know, I really can't tell where they are. I'm assuming they're down here. But, you know, I'm not seeing them yet. I think that's them right down there. Yep, that is them. Okay, so we got homeless people. Yeah, in LCP, if you're going to see numerous calls, different calls. But this is one of them. This is a homeless person call. Basically, it just means that they're disturbing the peace. Somebody called them in. Don't want them here. 
Uh, so then after you uh, aim the gun at them, you can hit E to make them stop. You can hit E again. You just tap it to arrest them, or you can hold it down to get this menu right here, which is going to give you more options. Uh, I'm going to hit F10, and that's investigate, and I'm going to ask for an ID. So basically now he's just going to give me his ID. Okay, and now that we have his ID, we're going to go ahead and give it back to him. But we can go back to our car, use the computer uh, to pull it up, or if this is something new in this version, you can pull back up that menu by holding down E again while pointing at him, or if he's in front of you, you can just do it. And we're going to go back to Investigate, F10, and then F12 is now available uh, to request an ID check. So you're going to pull out your radio, call it in, and dispatch is going to look him up for you without you having to go back to your car or whatever. This is a very useful feature. And it's going to give you the results up there at the top. Uh, two citations, valid license, and stop three times, no warrants. So he is harmless. I'm going to go ahead and frisk him, investigating him one more time, and hitting F9 this time. Okay, I don't know why this guy right here is... I'm a, okay, I'm about to arrest him because he just hit me. Okay, so this guy... If he doesn't have anything, I'm going to go ahead and release him. A uh, weapon. Wonderful. Okay, so now I'm going to arrest him. Okay, so I just tapped E that time. I'm going to walk up behind him to put the cuffs on him. And we're going to be done with him. I'm just going to say that I'll take him. It's going to ask me here. Uh, it says that it's been arrested. You can choose whether or not to drive him or call for transport. I'm going to hit Y to take him. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in my car by tapping E. Uh, there we go. Okay, and then you just want to release him once you get close to a door. And he should, he should get in. Okay, come on. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't close enough. Okay, but he's going to get in. And now I'm going to go get the other guy. I'm just going to tell the other ones to leave. The guy that's on his feet right now, he punched me. Intentionally or unintentionally. And he just had it like he wanted to run there. So he's definitely definitely getting arrested. Normally I would frisk him, but just to kind of keep this short, I've already frisked one, so that's I've already showed you how to do it. I'm just gonna take this guy and take him back to the station along with his friend. First though, let me tell these guys just to get up. Okay, I'm gonna hold down he he has a weapon. Are you kidding me? Ignore that. I didn't. You didn't see that. Okay. I'm going to hold down E. Hit F11 to issue orders. And I'm going to tell him to get out of here. By hitting F9. Okay. So I'm going to grab him. And do just like I did for the other guy. And now we're going to take these two guys back to the station. And be done with them. Where they will be booked. Um, and formally processed. So all's good there. Whoops, except for that. Just ignore that. Cops normally wouldn't go code code uh, 2 or code 3 back to the station just taking prisoners, but uh, just for the sake of getting through this intersection, I'm going to... Okay, so you're looking for this car marker that's just at the bottom left-hand uh, part of the screen on the HUD there, and you're just going to drive into it. And basically, the um, the jailer and another officer are going to come out and pull the criminals out of the car. Okay. Okay. So they've, they've taken them, as you can see, they're no longer in the back seat of the car. And just go ahead and know I don't want to do that. So that's all for that. For multiplayer, you just pull up your phone like normal. You'll go to multiplayer. They'll set this up however you want, live or LAN, local area network. Um, I'm not actually connected on, on live right now, so it's not going to let me do that. But 
anyways, you'll just create a match or join a match, whichever one. Go to free mode, and then you start the game and activate the mod once you're in the game. So that's all it is to it. Uh, if you guys, like I said, if you have any more questions, just be free to leave a comment, and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, but thank you guys for checking this video out. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful, and I will see you guys next time.